If you don't know who I am, my name is Melissa, and you've come across Melissa's Cozy Corner. Today we're going to be talking about one book in particular. I'm featuring this book, Keyhole, by George Morrison, and this is a collaboration with Reedsy. I'll get into Reedsy a little bit later. First, I want to talk about Keyhole by George Morrison and this delightful sci-fi adventure. So let me tell you a little bit about the book first. The book follows a character named Nick, our spaceman, and I'm going to call him a man, but in all circumstances, he's our spaceman that we're following around. And he's kind of been rolling the dice, not on his side. And you'll get that reference if you read this story. But he's been down on his luck, and he has kind of two options. He has a crap ton of loans with his loan shark, and he can either go to his loan shark and most likely die, or he has his other option where his buddy came to him and said, hey, I have... I have this adventure, I have this plan, you come along with me and we're going to end up this job in riches. However, his buddy is probably not the most promising thing. Um, I'm not going to say being because he's not a being, he's more of a glob. And his buddy is not the best glob to know because he's gotten him into some bad situations beforehand. So he either has Lone Shark, most likely death, friend's adventure, most likely death with a little chance of success. So of course we follow his story on the adventure because I mean if he goes to the mob guy he's most likely gonna die and that's gonna be a terrible book. So we follow our character along with his crew of interesting characters. We have a human, we have a mantis, we have a globby thing, and we have an AI who loves poetry. It's a sci-fi book. We're going to need AI with a little twist, so we have AI with poetry. And we also get a cute, adorable three-eyed creature who, let's just say, he's probably the most destructive creature in the whole galaxy. Of course we're introduced to him, and we also get to meet cannibals, and also a dragon, and we get to visit all of these wonderful planets. And it's honestly a joy to read. I really liked this one. I'm not generally a sci-fi reader. I don't pick up sci-fi. Um, willy-nilly and I was really happy I picked this one up. I think it was just a joy to read. For me I would consider a, a 3.5. I was really engaged. I liked the characters. I liked the humor. It was just not completely there for me. However if you like Futurama and the humor you get from Futurama or Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, if you like that kind of humor, that kind of adventure, this could be a four or five star book for you because it's just a very delightful read of adventure, camaraderie, down on your luck, weird mishaps, and so on and so forth. <laughs> so if you like Futurama or Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, this could be a really great book for you. I thought it was also a delight. I really did enjoy reading it. I loved following Nick's humor. Nick doesn't have humor really, actually. He's probably the most literal person you'll ever meet. For example, if you say what's up, he'd probably look up and be like, um, the ceiling. We've all heard that choke. But also, another good example. Cat got your tongue? He would probably say, I don't have a cat on my tongue. Who has a cat on their tongue? Of course you don't have a cat on your tongue. But because he's such a literal thinker, he can't understand when we have those fun little sayings or those fun little whips. So it's just a really interesting and intriguing story of a character who's just down on his luck, like I said, takes everything too literal, and is stuck with an AI who speaks poetry. So if you're looking for a book that's going to be funny and an adventure and introduces you to some new planets, some new characters, this would be a great read for you. I would give this book and crew a 3.5 out of 5 stars. The humor is enjoyable. It's just a delightful read. Again, I want to thank Reedsy for this collaboration. Reedsy is a great platform for people who are looking at publishing a story or a novel. They have editors who can read through your novel and help you with editing, book cover designers, and also people to help you with marketing. And also, like myself, reviewers who get arcs from your novels and we can read them, give them honest reviews, and then publish them online for other people to kind of get an idea of your book. So this is a great collaboration with Reedsy. I'm really happy I was able to work with them and read this novel and yeah, so that's Keyhole for You by George Morrison. If you want to check it out, you can go down in the description below and find the novel there. That's going to be it for today, you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day, a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you guys later on. Ciao!